W E in the What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Uh we are here with another 2K by Rise video. We are I'm gonna take that's my girl. You'll have their former partner tonight in a surprising attack. Looks like she's the one who's getting targeted now. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. What Why that stage for bullshit? We have some commotion backstage, and yep, there they go. Oh, we're right actually we've actually face. got a quest this time. Oh, vicious running knee lift. We actually have something to do in a backstage segment for once. Oh! Man, just a multitude of strikes! Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. What impact! Right in the kisser. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. She anticipated that one. Whatever. And did you hear the impact of that? A big punch. Ouch. Oh. Ava with a reversal into the ambulance. And Ava is taking out all of her aggression on her former tag partner. Do you blame her after what she did? I don't. You think you're better than me? That I'd lay down and take it when you... Look out! That car came out of nowhere. This has escalated quickly. We need medics on the scene immediately. Justine? What the hell? I think her niece is just as shocked as we are. Looked like you needed some help. <coughs> you just running over. It's fine. She's annoying anyway. I didn't like her from the start, so. You're lucky that Ava only suffered some minor injuries. If and you'll recall, Ava started it. My memory is excellent, including my memory of your actions at day one. But it's clear to me that you two... Destroying then let's it. at least get a SmackDown main event match out of this. And since you're determined to drive each other to hell and back, it's going to be the most brutal match in WWE. Perfect. And one more thing. I can't risk Justine driving into the arena and hitting anyone. Our event insurance. Fine by me. Person, what better we setting than hell in a cell? It should okay. be aunt in a cell because Justine should be in jail after hitting Ava with a car. It's a testament to Ava's toughness. She's even here. We just tap her out. Oh, that's all we do. We cheese. In, and she taps out. Taps out. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner. Yep. Love and war and Charlotte Flair is definitely Bailey delivering the kick to the gun. And here we go. They're on a mission to save the day and won't be stopped. Big miss right there. Face first good night. Did she get in? Why would you talk? Oh my god, fucking stupid computer man. The door is shut. We are on the brink of absolute chaos. War games can now officially commence. Oh, it was just a matter of time. She had nowhere to go. 
Isn't it a nation? No. Have a nice little snack today. What? Um. I Enough get... with your banana babbling. Why would anyone want to steal someone else's oatmeal? Because it's delicious. I don't want your oatmeal. Like I have time to mess with them. If it would help. So uh, you would. Admit... I admit nothing. Fine. <laughs> Try to get to elimination chamber. Maybe I, maybe I can edit some of this out. It's twenty eight minutes though. So. Don't step away for a bowl of popcorn. This five-minute time limit match promises to be a quick. Sorry, Becca. But GG. Now she's going to accuse me of cheating. Well, technically I am because I'm choosing by submission, but... <laughs> I'm getting torn about on social media thanks to you. I do. In fact, only because it wasn't a normal match. Those were unfair conditions. Becky, I don't I'm don't... Getting... Before touching down here in WWE, Io Sky was a mega star in Japan, where her yeah, well, she's in a tap now, like everyone else does. There it is. And this one is over. Oh, we got some. Uh... Io Sky ready to take this match to new heights here tonight. You don't earn the name Genius of the Sky by being anything less than innovative, Michael. While her offense might seem wild at times, it's obvious the amount of planning and calculation that goes into each movement. When Eos Guy takes to the top rope, people often draw the parallel to an air show. And lucky for us, Byron, we have front row seats. But across the wing, she's facing one of the most dominant superstars in the women's division today. A superstar who's taken her opponents to hell and back nearly every time she's been the ring. The sleeper is cinched in. It's over. She couldn't hang on. He's be good enough. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner. Yep. We've got an unusual match direct from the subconscious of one of our superstars against three Becky Lynch's. You've got to be prepared for anything when you're facing three figments of your own imagination. This is a literal nightmare scenario. You're telling me. I'm pretty sure we're not real either. We appear to Let's just restart so we can choose that. We've got an unusual match direct from the subconscious of one of our superstars against three Becky Lynch's. You've got to be prepared for anything when you're facing three figments of your own imagination. This is a literal nightmare scenario. You're telling me. I'm pretty sure we're not real either. We appear to be just disembodied voices. And yet, I'm still next to you, Saxton. It's a nightmare. Some... 
Oh, look at this! And she loses via submission! Here's your handicap match winner. No, oh, I thought he was going to say you need to do some objectives or something. I suppose this is a funny story, so I'll keep this, but then I'll cut out until Elimination Chamber. There she is. The chicken still running from the goat. You know what? I'm done. What changed your little chicken? Um, no reason. Doesn't very interesting. The goat. Hmm. <laughs> as if there wasn't enough animosity between these two, there's a whole lot more on the line as tonight's loser. The sleeper is sick. She gives up submission victory. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner. Obviously, we're not going to just lose our uh, beat Becky over and over. <laughs> Who is that? I can't see in this stupid thing. <laughs> Ugh, it's you. Well, you've made a mess. You have more than enough. You You're the only one getting burned. You... More humiliating than it will be to wear that goat head in your next match. <laughs> This is funny. At least time we have like playing this back, you know, that'd be funny. Becky Lynch often dresses in unique outfits, but this one tops them all as she dons a goat. Oh, look at this! You feel like a tap out! Boom! Slam! With authority. Big win! Toppling three competitors here tonight. Please tell me you want to lock Becky in the fucking goat costume. That'd be hilarious. Please, please, please just give me Becky in a goat costume. Wait, does that mean if I would have lost that match to Becca, I would have been in their go costume there? That would have been funny. I doubt they would because it's player, right? So. That's funny. That's really fucking funny, to be honest. What do you want? Well, I don't know how she did it, but Lacey Evans secured a candlestick endorsement deal. Now she's bugging me for a candlestick match every week. Interested? I'm looking for a superstar who can make her regret asking for them. I want this one. Oh, there's only one left, so it's got to be, uh... Let me talk to her, because it's got the symbol thing, right? Enough wasting time on rivalries. I just got some intel. Management has just decided who's going to be Dewdrop's next challenge. Is it? No, but it can be. Whoever wins the Elimination Chamber match. Will... What's that supposed to mean? Never mind the specifics. Are you ready to get started? <laughs> Great. I'll talk to management and get you in a qualifier. <sighs> Perks of having a manager, dear. Okay, so we're coming up to Elimination Chamber, which is exactly where I want to be. Oh. 
I suppose you've already heard this from your aunt, but I've got winner a gets a match with Dewdrop. That's right. You'll be competing against any great. Shouldn't be ah. There's that new attitude. Still, even though your aunt. Is hey, there's something I think you should do in your match. Win. Naturally. But really make an I wasn't planning on taking it either. No, I know. But it... You've got to... Of course I... We're going to lose this. I bet it's going to be a screw job and we're going to enter Elimination Chamber at number one. It just makes sense, right? WWE's premier Ant Nice duo look to keep their momentum rolling against yep. the always impressive Indy Hartwell in this huge Elimination Honestly, Chamber I'm, qualifier match. It brings a tear I'm happy about it. <coughs> far our girls come. A quick finish. Can she do it? No trouble kicking out of that one. Definitely looks in a hurry to finish things. Pat, that there one's scouted. Uh -oh. Nope. Back off, don't move. Good. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. And some effective offense with that one. Oh, <laughs> bullseye with the back fist. And that was taking the attack to the competition well, with that. I thought I had a finish for it. Oh, I'm going to lose, you can tell. She's taking some big hits here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Oh, right to the jaw. <laughs> what impact! There she goes! She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Holy! Meet the barricade! Oof! A dangerous situation out here at ringside! This could sort your career. Gives first across the barricade. Ooh. Four. She is adding insult to injury, and I love it. Okay. Thrown back in under the ropes. Might be a little bit more annoying then. Connected on that. Ducking out of trouble. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh, knee right to the face. Up into the torture rack. Oh, does that finish Indy off? Oh, just casually stopping the count. Obviously has more in mind for her. Try and end it. And an effective pin. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Ooh, look at her answering back. Cover. We're going to put this one away. Hooks the leg. Wait a minute. Using the ropes here for leverage. Big form. Uh-oh. And momentum is slipping away from Indy. Indy needs to be resourceful in this situation. We're going to put this one away. Hooks the leg. Oh, uh, using the ropes for leverage. Come on, ref. Amazing effort by her. Oh, we might be close to the end. Yeah, not looking good at all. She's able to get out of the way. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. And a oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, oof. Kick finds it. And a well-executed move we just saw there. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. <clears throat> Downward spiral. See ya. We could be moments away from Indy's doom. Cross body. And Indy is really being knocked around here. Tough spot for Indy. That should do it right there. Look at this. 
She better have a Trying good to trigger Johnny Finn, finish. man. Up into the torture rack. Feast your eyes. She's finished. I'm surprised I didn't get screwed there. Something's going to happen to put me one, number one in the chamber. I hope it does because then it'll be faster. Your last match was a little extra. And this will tell that. <laughs> <sighs> this is gonna take the best by my friend. This may be the first time Dewdrop and her partner have teamed up. There's already chatter they could be one of the most dominant duo. Oh, look at this! You can see the act. Pop out! Scores the win! What a great team! Here are your winners! Give me Chamber. We just want to do Chamber like super quick. Then we get in the episode. <coughs> that was a lot of great shit. He's fucking light his screen as well. Breaking news. Nope. I'll up. Yeah, sure not. Please don't give me a stupid backstage brawl, man. We only have 15 minutes left of being able to record here. Seems like everything is going according to plan. Perfect. We're going to get attacked. That's what's going to happen. I can see it. There's no way this is going to go smooth. It never does in these current modes. Get excited, because it's that time. What's the fine by me? Right. Please just be a quick story. Just be one match. There is a chance I'm going to just edit until we get to the match because there's no more filler. It's all just filler. 
Lacey Evans is a last-minute scratch tonight, so this Elimination Chamber preview is now officially a two versus three handicap match. No details on Lacey Evans' absence yet, but it's certainly not like her to no-show. Yeah, definitely a head scratcher, but these five superstars will have to do their best to ignore the... The sleeper is cinched in a win via submission! This handicap match is over. I can't believe someone took out Lacey. I mean, kudos to them. Sounds like whoever did it did a great job. Honestly, I'm... True. I wonder if the person who... If that's the case, you know... What's your guess? Seriously? Hmm. Is there anyone who... If I can win the Elimination Chamber match... You're about to see the fastest elimination chamber match in history. Unless I'm not number one. And knowing this, I probably won't be. Because apparently I'm in the back with management, so... Hey, Riddle. Shut up, Baker. Tom. I'm gonna have to talk to all of these, you know. What's Riddle saying? Bro. I love Riddle. Dude, did you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not you. I... Please let me, like, team with Riddle in, like, the male career. I know you I don't. Should... Are you in the dark pod? No, but I should. Hey. Oh, I think I've just clocked it. They're hiding the pod, right? So... Kids, why would I... It's gonna be fucking Justine. It's gonna be, yeah. It has to be, right? It only makes sense for them to do... If they're hiding whoever's in the pod, it's Justine. The SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line here tonight in one of the most highly anticipated eliminations. The sleeper is cinched in. And there it is. That's it. Dude, Pack your bags. Man, she's got her sights set on winning this thing. I gotta say, she could do it. She heads into the ring. The sleeper is cinched. It was just a matter of time. She had nowhere to go. And Carmella was on the wrong end of that elimination. Oh, coming in hot. Definitely something to prove here, Byron. The sleeper is cinched in a tap out. Easiest elimination chamber match in history. I told you this. eliminated. Here she comes. Oh, man. She looks as focused as I have ever seen her. The sleeper is sick. And the ropes will break this one. Why exactly is there a rope break in a fucking elimination chamber match? And the sleeper hold is firm. She had to prevent herself from being the dark been pod eliminated. is about to open. It's been the best kept secret in WWE since it was announced. Everyone's on the edge of their seats to find out who's inside. I know who's inside. It's gonna be Justine. The entry into the elimination chamber is about or to Stephanie. Be Justine, WWE 
WWE legend and Hall of Famer Justine is the mystery entrant into the Elimination Chamber match. One of these two women will be the next SmackDown Women's Champion. But how? We haven't seen Justine in the ring for over a decade since her career-ending injury. She certainly doesn't look injured to me, Corey. And she also doesn't look like she minds that the woman standing in the way of winning a championship is her niece. Justine immediately on the offensive. Setting her up and down. It looks as if her niece was completely caught off guard by this. She's getting dominated in there. Wait a second. We've seen this before, but not in a very long time. It's vintage Justine here tonight. The Justine Jammer with the cover. It's a <laughs> SmackDown Women's Champion, and I can't believe I'm saying this. It's Justine. Justine is the new SmackDown Women's Champion. I saw it. I knew it. There were so many names thrown around about who was going to be in the dark pod, and Justine wasn't even on the list. Her niece must be shocked. I think the entire WWE universe is shocked. I'm having flashbacks to 2002. I think Bailey's book. Unbelievable that we are witnessing this right now. What a moment in WWE history. All right. I knew it. I had like that feeling that they, they hid the pod, right? You didn't speak to her before. That's when I clocked it probably was her. It was either her or Stephanie. Because Stephanie helped you get the match, right? So Stephanie would be like, oh, I'm Stephanie a bit bad. I can't get it. about you, what? Well, that was one of the wildest things I've ever... You're telling me. I know she's your family. Justine certainly makes... Every... Right? Embrace... Did you know... That Justine was in the dark pod? No. They kept that secret under wraps, even from me. But I could have told you not to trust her, even though it would have been hard to convince you of that. I, I thought I, I can help you. Oh, we're still going. Uh, really? We're not going enough time. Our brand new SmackDown Women's Champion is here to address the WWE Universe after her shocking return and victory at Elimination Chamber. So, I have a little bit of an announcement to make. I've been medically cleared. Surprise! You know, I thought I had closed the books on my WWE career. But being around here lately reignited a light I thought had gone out. As I got involved, Coming back into WWE, first with my podcast, and then as a manager, I started to wonder. Edge, Lita got second acts. Why not Justine? The more I gave, the more I realized, you need me. You need me because you deserve to see me finally reap the rewards of the path I trailblazed to fulfill the promises that I wasn't able to keep when my career got cut short to- What the hell? <laughs> I was wondering when you would show up. Figured you would, given how much you like to ride my coattails. What are you talking about? Why didn't you tell me you were cleared? And why haven't you called me back? Would you have paid attention if I had? After the way you laughed at me when I suggested we team up for the Money in the Bank tag team match? After you never thought to ask me how I was doing whenever I mentioned my doctor's appointments? I'm beginning to think I should have set up those lighting rigs to fall over on you instead. You did it. Why wouldn't I? Because I'm an old, washed up, past her prime legend. Girly, you best not insult me, because I taught you everything you know. LJ, 
too bad you don't have the goods to back it up. I was proud when you decided to wear your own gear for your debut and make your own mark. But it was probably then that I started to realize you don't have what it takes to push our family name forward in this business. That I'd have to do that myself. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, LJ? You followed me around like a shadow your entire life and you don't understand. When you decided not to use the chair in your main event match with Ava, did you think you could get ahead by following the rules? <laughs> Cute. That's not how it works. I would never have made that mistake. Because I've always known exactly what I want. What I needed to do. In a world that was five times as hard and seven times as brutal for me. I tried to help you. But even as your manager, you were just blindly following everything I told you to do. Seriously, child, think for yourself. You know the difference between someone else's path. And yeah, I just uh, stopped to start because we was about to run out of time. I've always had to make my own. My head is spinning here. Justine's not only back, but she's put a target on her niece. Justine's certainly drawn a line in the sand here tonight. How do you even respond to a betrayal like that from a member of your own family? I think we're about to find out. And I have a feeling that whatever she has to say, it could have some big ramifications for the WWE Universe.